The word of the day, serve. In Isaiah 58, there's a scripture where it's talking about how the people of God were seeking the Lord by fasting and praying, and they weren't getting any results. In fact, in the midst of their fasting and praying, they were bickering and they were fighting one another, and they were just really frustrated with God and frustrated with one another. They were just frustrated that nothing was happening the way that they wanted it to happen. And it's because the root motivation of their prayer and their fasting was self. They were just trying to get their own needs met and weren't really caring about their brother or sister or anyone around them. And so here's the reply that the Lord gives them in the midst of their fasting and praying. In verse 6 of Isaiah 58, it says, Is not this the kind of fasting that I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide for the poor and wandering with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them and do not turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will appear quickly. It's this picture that if we will take our eyes off of just our own needs and begin to look around and meet the needs of others, that God will have our back and that he'll take care of us. I heard a vision years ago about a person who was in this vision. They were walking down this hall and they turned to one door and they opened it up and there was this round table and around this round table was this giant feast and everybody at the feast was actually dead. Uh, they had these giant appendages with like a, a fork and a spoon and and they all had died and while all this food and this feast was there, they had died because these oversized forks and spoons, they, they couldn't quite get them to their mouth, and so they, they died of starvation. And the person shut the door, and he opened the door across the hall, and he said across the hall it was a very similar picture of a round table with a feast, but everybody was laughing and jovial, and they were enjoying one another's company, and they were eating. And the reason that they were eating is they had figured out that if they would take care of the person to the side of them, then they themselves would get fed as well. It's a beautiful picture of how when you put others first and when you honor others and you serve the needs of others, God's going to take care of us as well. It reminds me of a scripture in Matthew 14 where Jesus and his disciples had had a really long day of ministry. And it, there was 5,000 people there and they, the scripture says that they were in this remote place. And the disciples were done with the day. And they said, Jesus, Let's send everybody home so that they can get a meal and, you know, call it a day. I think the disciples were probably ready to get a meal and call it a day after a long day of work. And Jesus looks at them and he says, you give them something to eat. And they're looking around and they're saying, but, but Jesus, all we have is five loaves and two, and two loaves, uh, five loaves and two fish. And they're there. And, and Jesus says, you know what? Have them sit down. Jesus takes what they had begins to break it, and as they began to share it with the people around them, the provision multiplied, and there was more than enough for all those people, 5,000 people, and the disciples were all able to eat. You know, if you'll look to the needs of others, if you'll serve someone else, God's going to take good care of you. I want to encourage you today to look for your opportunity to meet someone else's need, and let God know what your need is, and put it in His hands. He'll meet your need as well. So the song of the day for the word of the day is Give Myself Away by William McDowell. I hope you look it up and enjoy it. Worship God to it. Have a great day.